Welcome back my beautiful friends at Florida Kitchen. Today we're making a plant-based uh, type of recipe. And I'm sorry guys, I haven't been filming, but I should go back to filming. I really miss all of my YouTube uh, fans, <laughs> even though there are a little bit of them. And I'm gonna be doing some uh, mushrooms. So it's, today's more of a healthy type of uh, recipe. So I'll be, um, I've already um, peeled off the skin from the sweet potato. And I, I could do some sweet potato type of fries, but I'm gonna make them a little thicker kind of like wedges but a little bit uh, on the rounder side so come and see and uh, how I make these beautiful and delicious healthy type of potatoes okay my beautiful loves so this is the way I'm gonna cut it okay I'll be I just peeled off the skin and I'll be making this in circle type and make them making them um, sort of thick all right and I'm gonna be putting those on the uh, oven. So if you could see, it's kind of simple. Okay, you just cut those in circle type. Okay. And I'll be doing the other side. Make it easier for me. And this is super healthy. It's better than eating normal potatoes. And I put the oven on, on it's uh, preheating. And I put it at 400 degrees. So by the time I'm finished, the oven is actually ready. Oops. Okay. So you keep on cutting those and you see the circle type. All right. I'll be putting olive oil and sea salt on those. Okay, my beautiful friends. Now that I have the, uh, the sweet potato cuts, I'm gonna put some olive oil on top of it and just sprinkle that over okay and I'll be putting some sea salt okay so I'll be adding some sea salt let's just add a little bit of it it's a healthier version of salt it's much healthier and just put it to your liking and you could add some sprinkle some rosemary on top I won't be adding rosemary but uh, if you want, you could add some rosemary and make it more elegant. So put that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, now that I have the sweet potato in the oven, I'll be um, baking some sliced mushrooms. I actually, you could just buy the actual portobello mushrooms or just normal sized mushrooms and wash them and, and damp them dry and add them in the oven, okay? But I've already bought them sliced, which is easier for me, okay? So I'm gonna take a few of those and put them right there in that bowl and just wash them and just pat them dry with a, uh... okay? And we'll just wash those. Okay, if you notice, I'm washing the uh, mushrooms, okay, making sure that they're clean and just wash them. And I think they're good and now I'm gonna dry them okay my Florida kitchen friends I've already put the mushrooms and pat them dry and I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper and I'm going to go ahead and put the olive oil on top of it okay so just a few mushrooms this is a good way to avoid eating meat so you rather just eat mushrooms, which is a healthier version. And I bought these sliced mushrooms from BJ's from the Wels Wellesley Farms. So I'll be adding that in the oven for like about 15 minutes and bake them. And you pat them dry, okay? So while you're uh, baking the, uh, the uh, sweet potato. So if you see right here is my sweet potato right there. And they look really nice and they smell amazing. So is it awesome? Okay, my beautiful people. So that's been baking for like about 10 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, sweet potatoes to the other side. You see how it's orangey? We like that color on the uh, sweet potato. So you like the orangey part. So that's why I'm turning it on the other side. So it could bake thoroughly on the other side. And you could see the uh, mushrooms are also baking on top. So we have those baking at the same time. So you see, we want to turn that on the other side. And you see how convenient it is to add the, um, the olive oil. Actually, the olive oil is anointed olive oil. If you're an evangelical Christian, 
you understand that we uh, anoint or we pray for the uh, olive oils and it's amazing so they're anointed and blessed for our food so keep on turning those okay okay my beautiful friends my sweet potatoes are done so just give them like about 20 20 minutes or probably even less 15 minutes at 400 degrees but remember to preheat to preheat your oven okay so I'm gonna take those out okay and if you notice they're already done you see that golden type of effect on them it's delicious that's the olive oil so good fats right there okay and the uh, mushrooms are almost done too and I put them at the same time so I'll be removing those uh, mushrooms and this is such a delicious and effective healthy uh, plant diet and you should just smell the aroma of the sweet potato it's just amazing look at that so I'm gonna keep on removing those from the oven wow my beautiful friends if you could just smell this it smells Oh, like uh, very sweet it's so beautiful and the uh, mushrooms are right here so I'm gonna get a like a little bag of these uh, um, this is parsley flakes and I'm gonna be adding a little bit of those on around the plate to make it look elegant and more appeasing but you could add any type of uh, type of um, what do you call it spice or herbs around it to make it look even more appeasing Look at those colors and that flavor. And I'll be frying some broccoli as well to put on the side. And this is just the most healthy type of uh, plant diet. So I'm going to be frying those in olive oil and a little bit of sea salt. You notice the calories are just 25 calories for 3 ounces. That's not like nothing. So very, very appeasing. Okay, so now I'm going to wash my broccoli. So just make sure that you wash that broccoli and make sure sure that you rinse that thoroughly with uh, some um, with a uh, wait, wait, I'm, my head is just not thinking right now <laughs> just dry I just make sure to dry it okay so make sure to rinse that very good and we're gonna be frying that in olive oil and a little bit of sea salt this is so much fiber and fiber is so good for digestion fiber is so good for everything it's amazing to eat fiber so this is fiber, the broccoli. Okay, so I'm gonna be rinsing that and drying this and then frying it. So I have here my olive oil and I'm gonna be adding the uh, broccoli. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna be adding some sea salt, okay? So add, just sprinkle there some sea salt. And there you have one of another plant diet. I just keep looking at my plate because it just looks so beautiful and the flavor the uh, smell is just amazing so I'll be adding some uh, sea salt on the uh, broccoli which is uh, a better type of salt it's healthier than normal um, salt that you buy at the store than the Morton salt just add a little bit of Okay, my beautiful friends, that is the end result. I fry the broccoli. There's nothing to it. You just fry it. I mean, it's not. this is not like a recipe recipe, but it's something that you could come up with if you want to eat healthy and it's a plant-based diet. Now, if you don't want to go too plant-based, you could add a, a fish next to it, like a salmon or a mahi-mahi or, or, some, or some type of fish. Um, you want to go like pescatarian but this is awesome this is just delicious and the uh, smell is amazing from the uh, vegetables so if you want to go healthy and leave the the meat diet behind it's even better i just saw a documentary that actually inspired me to try to see if we could i could go you know a little bit more plant-based i know it's difficult to remove from the meats completely i still have some meat um recipes i still eat meats but i know it's difficult to get out of it but little by little you keep on enforcing those healthy types of habits all right you my beautiful lovely people thank you so much for visiting my channel of florida kitchen please comment down below if you try this recipe and what you think about this recipe all right guys see you later Bye bye